Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Riti Kumari and I am back with another lecture of the DBMS series. So in the last lecture we got to know more about ER models in database. Now what is ER model? ER model basically stands for Entity Relationship Model. It is basically a database design which gives us a graphical representation of all the entities, the relationship between the entities, the attributes of the entities, keys and much more things. So basically it makes our task very easy because we get a visual representation or a low level design of a database like how database is being formed, what are the structures they are using, what are the keys they are using, what are the entities, what are the attributes and much more things. So whenever we draw this visual representation, it makes it very easy to explain any person that what this database is all about, what are all are the entities, the primary key and much more things. So uh, basically in this particular video, we would be knowing about entities and types of entities. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what is an entity? An entity is something from the real world like a person, place, event or idea that has some physical existence. Now each entity has specific features or traits that can describe it. Now consider that I am taking an example of person. So person is an entity because it is like a, a real world object which has some physical existence. Now person may have some characteristics which could be person name, person age, uh, person uh, address and much more things, right? So all these characteristics are called as attributes of a person. So that is told here that each entity has some specific features or traits that, that describes it. So basically person name can describe it, person age can describe that uh, the person is having this age, the person address can describe that the person lives here. So there are some special features or there are some traits which particularly define an entity that is called its characteristics or attributes. Now there are two types of entities. First one is a strong entity and second one is a weak entity. So let's have a look on that. So types of entity. First is the strong entity, second one is the weak entity. Here I have given an example of person entity and dependent entity. So what is strong entity? From the word you can see now, that strong entity is something which is strong, right? So a strong entity is basically an entity which does not depend on any dependent or does not have any dependence on other entities. So basically it can exist alone. So let's take an example. Consider that uh, we have taken an example of person entity here. So why person entity is called a strong entity? So person entity itself can define all the attributes of the person like the name, the age and much more things. So it's not dependent on other entities ki, okay, here you get the details of okay Raj is a person who is having an age as 20 and uh, the phone number is this, the Aadhaar card number is this and much more things you can know here. So it is independent. It does not depends on other tables or other entities to gather information or like it can independently exist. So basically a strong entity is something which can independently exist. It does not depends on other. Second thing is strong entity is an entity which is having a primary key. Uh, now coming to the weak entity. Now what is weak entity? Now consider that there is a person table, right? And in the weak entity, I've given the dependent table. So basically person has some dependents. Consider that there is a person who has some dependents like uh, his mother, his father, his children and much more things. Now, if the person a table is not there, would you be able to know that, okay, there is a section called as mother and the mother name is given, but whose mother is this? So if the person table is not there, you won't be able to know that whose mother, whose particular mother or whose particular person mother is this. So basically dependent table is something which is kind of dependent on the person table because person table is somehow like uh, the dependent table is somehow gathering information from the person table and this particular table is solely dependent on this table that the parent is this, uh, the wife is this or the children is this. Let's not confuse you. Let's go ahead and have have a look on the definition first and then again we will learn from an example. So basically types of entity, strong entity. 
A strong entity is an entity that has its unique identifier that is primary key and it's not dependent on any other entity for its existence within the database. Strong entities stand alone and have their own set of attributes. Example person. Now in the weak entity, a weak entity is an entity that does not have a primary key of its own. It relies on a related strong entity known as owner entity for its identity. The weak entity existence is defined by being related to the owner entity. Now example is dependent. Now let's understand the strong entity and weak entity in detail. So consider that there are two tables. So first is a student table and second is the course table student has taken. So it has course ID, course name, it has student ID, student name and student age. It also has the student ID. So do you remember in last set of videos we learned more about a primary key and foreign key relationship so basically there are two tables one is a student table one is a course table basically student id in the course table is a foreign key which is taking reference from the primary key in the student table now what happens key consider that there are two entries first one is riti second one is ram and the age is 20 21 and the course id here is 0102 course name is physics course name is maths the student ID is 1 and 2. Now from these two tables it's evident a person or a student whose roll number is 1 has taken the course name as physics and course ID is 01. A student ID, uh, a student whose ID is 2 has taken a course name maths and is having a course ID as 2. So from where do we get the details key who is roll number 1 and who is roll number 2 from this particular student table. So student is an example of strong entity and course is an example of weak entity. Let's understand how. So basically student, in, uh, student table can exist independently. It doesn't need to gather information from some another table key. Okay, for roll number one, what is the student name or what is the student age? It can exist on itself. And also the second thing is that this particular table is having a primary key. This is a foreign key. So basically there are two things which are needed for an entity to be a strong entity. First one that the entity should exist alone. If there are any, uh, any hindrance in another tables, it shouldn't affect this particular table. So it can exist alone. The second thing is the table always should have a primary key. So all these two things are verified in this particular student table. So student is a strong entity. Now coming to the course table. So basically course is somehow having a foreign key primary key relationship with student. So it is called as a weak entity. Because again, I told now that there is one student whose roll number is 1 and has taken course name as physics and course ID is 01. But what if this table is not here? So would you be able to find ki, okay, roll number one, who is the person who is roll number one or who is the person whose student ID is one? Would you be able to find ki two, who is the student who is having the student ID as two? So this table can't exist independently and it, it also doesn't have any primary key. It just have a foreign key which is taking a reference from the student table where student ID is acting as a primary key. So basically it can't exist alone and it doesn't have a primary key. So it is called as weak entity. Basically strong entity is re represented by one rectangle and weak entity is represented by two rectangle and whenever there is a relationship between a strong entity that is student and a weak entity that is a course the relationship among them is defined via two diamonds studies so this is student which is a strong entity, so a single rectangle. Course, which is a weak entity, so two rectangles. So basically, this is the way we represent uh, entity relationship between strong and weak entities. 
so this was all about this video in the next set of video we would be knowing about the attributes and the type of attributes so if you are someone who is new to my channel please go ahead and check out the tech content first and if you find it useful please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe button also if you are someone who is preparing for dbms can surely go ahead with this playlist and also suggest your friends for the same till then take care keep learning keep growing keep exploring bye